Hello, boys and girls. My name is Liz Weir. I'm a storyteller and a writer, and I'd like to tell you a story from long, long ago. It's a story that comes from Norway. A long time ago, when the world was new, everything got a color. The sky was blue, and the grass was green, and the soil was brown, and well, everything got a color except the snow. The snow was clear, and so when it fell, people said, rain, rain, rain. Does it ever stop raining around here? The snow said, I'm not the rain, I'm the snow, I need a colour. Where could I get some? He thought, flowers, they've got lots of colour. So he went to the lovely red rose and said, excuse me, red rose, can I have some of your colour? Why? Why do you want my colour, said the rose. Well, that red is so lovely and bright. If I was red, there'd be red in the trees and red in the hills. Wouldn't the world look lovely? I don't think so, said the rose. Go away. I'm a summer flower. People see me, they think of warmth. You're making me cold. Just go away. So the snow tried some more flowers. He came to a beautiful yellow flower. He said, yellow daffodil. Surely you'll give me some colour. Why? Why should I give you my colour? Because if I was yellow, there'd be yellow in the hills and yellow in the trees and it would be a lovely bright colour. Just go away, said the daffodil. People see me, they think, daffodils, spring, winter's over. Just go away, you're making me cold. And the snow tried one flower after another until a whole season went past. And you know, the snow was coming down on the ground and he saw a tiny little white flower. He said, oh, little flower, that's a pretty colour. Could you give me some of your colour? Why, said the little flower. Well, if I was white, there'd be a whole blanket of white across the earth. And things would look really crisp and bright. It would lighten up everybody's life. And the little flower nodded. And some of the white came off and the snowflakes came down beautifully white. Well, the snow said, thank you so much. You've been so kind to me. Let me be kind to you. From now on, no matter how cold it gets... The frost will never bite your petals. And even on the iciest day, you'll always be able to push your way up through the ground as the first flower of spring. And ever since then, that flower has been called the snowdrop. And boys and girls, if you ever see a wee snowdrop at this time of the year, you look up underneath it and you'll see a wee bit of green. And that's where she shook the colour off and gave it to the snow. <laughs>